ready to dance. This week, we're going to talk about why church. Last week, we learned that church is us. You and me, those who believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, are the church. Church is a gathering of God's family members who gather together to worship and praise Him. Online lessons are great, especially when most of us cannot go out due to the lockdown. But you can never replace going to a physical church. Right, Hannah? Mm. Yeah. Jesus himself went to church every week on the Sabbath, as was his custom. That's how important he regarded the physical church building as. God's presence and anointing is stronger at the church because it is a special place set apart as holy. But I can't go to church. I'm not perfect. 
then you are perfect for the church because the church is not made up of perfect people. Jesus did not come down for perfect people, but to connect imperfect people back to God. If we can never be perfect on our own, what's the point of Jesus coming down to earth and giving up his life for us? God can cause Moses a stutterer to rescue hundreds of slaves, guide Gideon a scaredy cat to lead a small group of people and defeat strong enemies. So come to church and discover what God can do for us despite of our imperfections. By so many doubts, I don't believe it's just really died for us. Johanna says, give us the opportunity to talk to you about your doubts. Come to church, we'd love to share with you about God, how much He loves us and how real He is in our life. We'll talk about the truths written in the Bible. I have tuition classes tomorrow and I'm so lazy to wake up early. Matthew says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. As we put God first in our life, He will bless us with overabundant blessing beyond what we can ever think of. Okay, I got my books ready for two of my classes. What else do I need? I need oh, drama class. Oh, tuition! My music tuition. Oh, I need to pack my camera because I need to meet up with my friends tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow Sunday. And I need... I have a competition tomorrow. Camera. Is it tomorrow Sunday? Aren't you coming to church with us tomorrow? Oh, it's cool. I can just watch it online anyways. What? No, it's completely different when you're there with your full attention on worshipping God together with all the other believers plus you're so busy running around making so many things What's even more important is your spiritual walk with God when you choose to honour God first by scheduling your classes and meetups outside of church at serving time you'll not only grow in your walk with God but you'll find that you are able to excel with rest Oh, that is true I never thought of it that way. Trust me, when you're older, you're going to need a pillar of strength to rely on and that is God. Okay, so, are you coming to church with us tomorrow? Okay, I'll book a seat for you. Done. Start your week right by seeking God first and He will end your week right. The music is good and the sermon is good, but I just don't like some people that are so annoying. Then church is the perfect place for you to learn how to fulfill what Jesus has told us what to do. Loving God and loving people. Loving people takes a lot of practice. The more we play piano, the better we get our at it. But the more we practice loving people, even though they're so annoying, the better we'll be at it. I'm not saying practice the fake love like this one. Check it out, Emmanuel. I won this super cool set of marker pens from yesterday's competition. Wow! Congratulations! Eh, you still have time to join all these competitions, ah? Uh? I'm just so busy. I keep getting A's in my exams. I need to study to maintain the many, many, many A's I get. Round one, ready, uh, go! You need to study so hard to get A's in your exams. Well, I don't even know what's wrong with my brains. All I have to do is just look at the lesson and then straight away I already remember everything. I don't even have to study so hard and I already have so many A's in my exam. That's why I have time to join so many competitions and I always win them. No, 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 no. I'm not studying hard for my current lessons. I'm studying hard for next, next year's syllabus. What? Wait a minute. You mean you're still studying for this year's syllabus? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the real genuine love that Jesus has for us. No matter how bad or how weird or how not nice we are, 
we, we can practice loving the people he loves too, which is everyone. But even if I go to church, I feel so useless there. Everyone there is so talented. They can sing, play the piano, and play the guitar. I can't do any of those. Oh. <laughs> do you know where they discover their gifts? They sound so professional now, but do you know where they trained to get to be so pro at all this? They went to the church. Hannah says go to church. God has given each of us these special gifts and talents. Come to church and discover and develop the gift God gave you. But I have no friends at church. I don't know anyone there. Church is made for community and connections and that's why you fit in. All of us do. God did not create us to be alone. Even if we say we're introverts, introverts need community too. No one can live in their own bubble for long. The Bible warned us about it when Jesus encountered a man who was attacked by demons. He was living alone in the tombs. Ha! Hmm? Ha! Yeah! See how strong I am? Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is one stick. Try breaking this. Thank you, madam. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, easy peasy. Mm. Maybe my hands are a bit tight. Okay, I can do this. Yeah, you are. Oh, wait, you got me the wrong pasta. This is defective pasta. <laughs> yeah, you are. God put us in a community because He knows that all of us need community and connection. If we live a life where it's just me, myself, and I, we'll find that it's easier to crumble when we're under extreme pressure or stress. At church, we'll find a community. <laughs> Hannah says, at church, you'll find a community of God's family members who are there for us, encourage us, pray for us, talk to us, and stand with us. Like we said last week, online Bible lessons are additional nutrition. If we are in trouble wanting to talk to someone, how do we connect with the people online? Email them? But the person don't even know you, or not as well as your community at your local church do. So if you feel alone at church, instead of waiting for people to come up to you and talk to you, maybe it's time for you to reach out to another family member at church. They could be feeling alone and am waiting for someone to connect with them too. Talk to them and encourage them so that, and as you do, you'll start to find lonely. What? But I feel so lost tonight. Come to church and discover a deeper sense of God's purpose for our lives. God loves you. Even before we were created, He has written out all the plans He has for you. And when we're in a community with God's children, we'll be able to figure out how to do, how the plans God has for us in our life will fit in with the plans He has for His other children. Come and discover how you can fit in with the bigger picture. Romans says, for just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we don't many form one body, and each member belongs to all the members. Yay, got many ties, got many ties. So cute, right? But it doesn't seem to work. I think I need to return. You get a refund, ah. Button. Oh, yeah. yeah. You never plug me. Okay. Oh, all right, okay, let me try. If you don't plug in, you cannot do its function. You need to be plugged here to get electricity. Ready? I guess. Wow! It's nice. We need to plug into God's family. The church, the church is a community. It is you and me, all members of God's family. And the church functions well when its family members are gathered together to worship God at the church as one body. And church is where you and I learn more about God and His love for us and equip one another to fulfill the work God has prepared for us to do. So come to church and let's worship God as a family, as one family member of God. 
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much. You sent your only son, Jesus, to pay the penalty that we were supposed to pay for sin. And thank you that because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross, we are now under your family. We are your family member and we can now call you our loving Heavenly Father. Thank you that um, as we go to your, to the, as we, the church, goes to the physical church building, help us to open our hearts and minds to the things that you have for us. Reveal the promises and blessings and teach us how to claim those blessings and promises that you have for us. Grant us your divine favor, protection, wisdom upon our life. And in Jesus' name we pray. Hannah says, Amen! Close.